mean, yeah, stuff is definitely happening. Oh, what the hell? There's a boss. Why is there a boss over there? We're back with some more enshrouded. Fantastic. Okay, but we have a lot of stuff to do today. We managed to take out two uh, of the hollow holes. We fought the boss in the second one. Now, that was fantastic. He was incredibly powerful. And you might have noticed that I am wearing the good armor again. Now, I struggled a little bit in those dungeons. Of course, I didn't die, but I just thought I am max level. I have all of the best stuff, so I might as well try out something. I've also respect a little bit. So I'm back to being a uh, one-wielding swordsman electricity stuff. So we will see. But I also discovered something else. Now it's level 30 with 55 damage. So the thing is, you can continue to upgrade these things. Now this, this is indeed something. So you might have to get some new weaponry if you have the best weapons and such. Right, okay, so I'm still a little bit bummed about the flying since you can use updraft, but you can only use it once. But I think that I am gonna stop bitching about that. But I still believe that they should add something that you can do to traverse the area a little bit better. Probably mounts? I would like some mounts. Maybe. But yeah, I'm gonna stop bitching about that and we're gonna get back to business. But I need more ectoplasm. So I guess we're gonna head back to one of the dungeons. Now I also tried to play some of the new furniture, but it seems like I can't really get more than 73 comfort level. So maybe that's the max now? I'm still gonna do some experiments, but right now we are going back to the dungeon. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm still searching for <laughs> Excalibur. It could still be in the game. I'm not sure how you would obtain it. Because there's a chance, there is a chance, I've seen, I've seen the comments, my wife uh, checked them before I read them, that there, uh, there might be some cheat engines and stuff involved. Maybe. But that's the thing, I don't know, I don't do research on the game. Because it's way more fun to discover stuff on your own. Ah, and here we are. Right, Hollow Halls. Revelwood. Nice. And, of course, I forgot the key. <laughs> Good God. And there's the key. Now, on another side note, I th still think that I've been incredibly lucky that my base hasn't disappeared. Now, it does look like the terrain around this area. Like, I could check on another character and another world if it looks the same, but it does kind of look like they've updated the entire mountain. Because, like this thing, this is just cut straight in half. Yeah, there's an exploded barrel here now, and I do see some weird stuff up on the horizon, so they've updated something, but my base still looks the same. I don't think anything has changed, but yeah, I think uh, I should count my blessings. Now, another thing that I am going to do is, since I now have a few more flame altars to spare, I mean, you could just place the flame altars way up in the sky around strategic places where, you know, the ancient spires do not reach. Like in the middle here, far up in the sky, and then you can fly wherever. That might be something, but we will see. Right now, dungeons. I do believe the only thing that we need is ectoplasm. Oh, shakes spine one day. Eh? Interesting, what does this do? Blunt damage as a mage, you say? Oh, I also did spec into the necromancer's summoner skill, so that I get more of these things. Sure how many I need. Okay, now we can make the Nomad Highlands bomb key. Fantastic. I had just noticed something. They increased the uh, stack size. Oh, fancy. Well, that is good. Did they do that for anything else? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, now <laughs> we will discover why uh, my base nearly was destroyed. Oh god, yeah, this was not the best place to put it. Yeah, it's all over. You can clearly see that this entire area is supposed to look like something else. And there's also more shroud around. I've noticed that too. Now, I do wonder if the Beastmaster talent still works, as in the exploitation of it. Okay, here we go. It is hidden up in Mia. Okay, nice. Oh, and these are some nice looking gates. Uh, yeah, but I'm still a little bit curious about the doors. We'll see. Okay, what do we have on now? These are probably level 20, so I guess I'm gonna need to stop being careful. Yeah, they're level 20, alright. And they do a fair bit of damage. 
and up we go. Here we have a spawn point and a repair. Nice. Giant bone arrow, you say? 22. That's more than the iron stuff. Whoa. Okay. That's something. That's a bigger one. A necromancer school something or something. I mean, I get them from my abilities anyhow. Do they look different? Can I use both of them? If I cast down one of my own. I mean, it looks the same. What about the big one? Okay, they look the same too. I guess there's more damage in church. Sure. Not gonna complain. Okay. Down we go. Careful about ambushes. I probably need more ectoplasm too. But I guess we will see. At least I'm very close to the dungeon. I mean, I'm almost at home. What do we have here? We have a big hole that goes all the way down. Oh boy, howdy. Yeah, I guess we need to go down. Yeah, there we go. Bone channel 2, a 31 damage, and it's blunt magic damage. That that's that's interesting. Okay, so I guess we're gonna take care of the bats, which is easy enough. But we have one now. Ectoplasm block, you say? Oh, hang on. That's the. That looks like the windows. Yeah, the fancy cathedral windows. Okay, that's something. Oh, hang on. That's a lot of enemies. Uh, might as well test fireball on them. That seemed to work. That seemed to work really good. But again, I don't really have that much mana regeneration, as in I almost have none. But yeah, those summons help a ton. Ectoplasm for days. Ghostbusters. Yes. Might as well toss a few of these down. They do their thing. And they're doing the job for me. Okay, there's a pattern here. Ooh. Let's see. They do a lot of blunt damage. Maybe they're receptible to blunt damage. I don't think I've tested that. I see a chest down there. Let's head down. Meow. Chest? Wait. Ooh, sacrilegious steel sword, eh? 40 damage. That's, it's a lot of damage on these things. I think. I'm not sure, but maybe. What's this? Shroud Meteor Shower. 13 damage, eh? Level 2. Yeah, and they definitely did nerf Acid Bite. It needed a nerf, but they didn't need to nerf it to the ground. Okay, now this looks like an area with a lot of enemies. I mean, Acid Bite is doing something. Not necessarily much, but something. Well, that's a lot of <laughs> summons, and I didn't use a single one. They all respawn. Oh, they all spawn because my ability. Okay, hang on. How does this look? Oh, that looks awesome. Yeah, that's probably the block that I unlock unlocked. Oh, that would be good for windows. All right. Okay, there's a way over there. Now this is probably the way that I need to go. No enemies? Really? Well, I do see a hidden door here, which goes down. What? Okay. Oh. Okay, a dining hall, you say. I don't know, a throne? Okay, there's probably some lore here. Can I sit here? Yes. Ooh, fancy. Fancy stuff. There's a chest behind it, so we're gonna check that out. Uh, okay, nothing too fancy. Another chest. I'm running out of lockpicks. And I am. Is there anything over here? So many ways to go. I'm just picking a path. Is this the right path? Oh my god, who knows? Uh, might as well use one of these. So that, that at least I can see and fight at the same time. I must say, after equipping the legendary armor and the weapons and such, it has become a lot easier. Because I struggled more on the level 15 mobs. Okay, but there must be something here, right? I can send something. There we go. There's a legendary chest. What do we have here? You know, wolf claw? Okay. Regular stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Oh, a book. Okay. What do we have here? You know? Let's... Let's redecorate. These holes look so drab. Who said that the eternal suffering had to be so stale? We could easily add some passas. I have an idea. A throne made from bones. Imagine it. Fearsome, intimidating, gothic. Yes, it's a little on the nose, but why leave room for subtlety when you could be lunging on the remains of your rivals? Ah, I'm brilliant. I missed my calling as an interior de decorator. <laughs> sure wish I wasn't undead. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. What the hell is this? Oh, it, 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 it's... God, oh, oh, balls. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, something is falling over there. Imagine just a couple of cyclopses in this area. Uh, that would be something. Oh, this place is huge. Hugely huge. At least I can outrun these things. Okay, uh, at least I thought I could. Hang on. What is this? Okay. Oh, that's how I get to the top, eh? Oh, that was close. Yeah, we can try again. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, another mana potion. Oh, yeah, I can't, uh, I can't double fly, so now I'm going down again. Well, might as well have a look around down here. Yeah, I heard something big. Well, would you look at that? Okay, use a few of these. Oh, damn. Okay. 
I said it's not really working. That's a long ass Oh, <laughs> good, good God. Yeah, this is a hard boss. Oh, legendary. And another one of the Hollow Cyclops head. Nice. I mean, as if you were a ranger, that would be a little bit easier. Maybe just a tiny bit. But, <laughs> well, I talked about finding a Cyclops in the middle of this. And he still one-shots me. Almost. Very close. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, 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 boy. You ask and you shall receive. Let's see, there's more stuff over there. Now, is there an easy way to get that thing? I wonder. Well, if I jump up, then I can fly down, right? And if I just go off the edge and then like so. Yeah. Jump boo, jump boo, and another jump boo. Okay, do they like... Okay, let's try it. Turn on acid. Yeah, so the initial attack for the acid bite is still strong, but it's not the, the strongest. I'm gonna uh, bitch a little bit again. This would have been a lot easier if I still had my mana regeneration and uh, infinite flight that it would. I mean, I would assume there would be something in the lava. Ow, you bitch. Oh, okay, uh, uh, it's starting to be a lot. And yeah, they can run in lava. Now look at this bastard, yeah. Giant Cyclops. Then again, is he a Cyclops? I mean, he's a Cyclops skeleton. Oh, it would have been funny if there was more than one. <laughs> then I would have been screwed. Looks like I'm missing... I'm missing one, eh? Okay, where was it? Where am I? Okay, I got disoriented fast. Okay, there it is, right. But yeah, bats are not a problem when you're a wizard. And then I jump and I jump and I fly. And then like a show. Nice. Okay, now the thing is open, yeah? Over here? Nice. Again, this is fun. Okay, more ways to go. Oh, it's gonna be interesting to see the one in Kindle Wastes. Oh, obstacle course, you say. That's fun. Double check for secrets. No secrets. Let's continue. More parkour. Hardcore parkour. They're just running in. Okay, what do we have over here? Another huge ass place. Now the thing is, is this instanced? I mean, it might be since we are teleporting, but... Again, I think all of this is under my base. Now, who has the best basement now, eh? Hmm. Probably one on each side. What is that? That's just light, isn't it? Yeah, that's a little bit suspicious. Why is there a tiny candle right here? Hmm. Okay. Now, this is something. What's going on over here? Is there gonna be another boss? Are these things gonna open and everyone is gonna come and attack me at once? What happens if I get to the middle? Come at me, bro. Uh, there's something over there. Looks like a button. Yeah, this looks like an arena. Okay, button. Press the button. What happens now? Okay, here they come. Okay, let's get a little bit of assistance over now. Okay, I mean, yeah, stuff is definitely happening. Oh, what the hell? There's a boss. Why is there a boss over there? Okay, more assistance stuff. Jesus Christ and a biscuit. Okay, so arrows are effective against this guy. Okay, what is this? A mystic hat. Okay, well, that, that took me by surprise. That it did. Okay, one thing, you deal with traps and then a million enemies and then just all of a sudden a boss. Okay, now if that was just one of the things, what is going to happen on the other side? Okay, this away. Okay, here is balls galore. Okay, I'm going to get ready with a few of these. Do I have more? I do. Okay, so there's loads of balls around here. I'm going to press the button. Okay, so that's loads of enemies. That's more enemies. And that's probably a boss. Okay, right. So we're gonna press this button and then just get ready. Not sure how many I can have. But okay, the mobs are an afterthought. Oh, Jesus and a biscuit. Okay, I'm gonna use one of these. Okay, don't fly out. That's a bad idea. A billion zombies. A billion skeletons. Okay, get. Oh, okay, we need to run a little bit. Okay, run. Okay, use another one of these. Okay, just the boss in it itself is not too difficult. Especially if you have the space to run. Because that's fine. Now that attack I need to be careful of. Because that <laughs> is death. Okay, nice. Barrier unlocked. Follow chest, eh? Okay, fancy schmancy. Whew. Again, not, not too difficult. I am max level and I did change my armor and such. <laughs> And <laughs> I'm really glad that I did, or else I would have a bad time here, even at max level. Oh boy. Oh, this might be the last area, right? Legendary loot stuff. Ooh, nice. What do we have? Meow. We have Bone Scrape Mace. That's another one, eh? 
How does that look? Ooh, that's some fancy stuff. Yeah, I have a feeling that the skeletons are susceptible to blunt damage, so that could be something. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, this is a bright light. It turns on during the night. Ah, oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that looks neat. Ah, a little bit weird on top of that thing, but sure. There's probably a way that you can fix that, but yeah, no, no, that looks fantastic. I mean, there are some fancy blocks that they are, but like right now, I'm a little bit, uh, I'm not too motivated to build anything more because I think I got real lucky with what I had placed down here. Either that or maybe, yeah, I mean, there is a chance that they knew and yeah, because my mountain now does not look natural at all. It is very square. <laughs> Oh, I mean, this is funny. I would like to think that Keen Games has watched my videos and seen where I have my base and they were like, oh no, we're not gonna screw over a Rhinin. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, my poor hole. The hole that went all the way down and it is gone. But can you imagine? Can you imagine if I actually built uh, an entire city down there? If I actually spent a lot of time excavating that entire area and then just poof. Ooh, I would have been mad. Yeah, no, I can't be the only one that has built stuff up here. But I'm very thankful that my stuff is still here. That I am, that I am. This chair, I need ectoplasm gem. Three. Oh, I need more flintstone. Of course, out of everything that I need, I need flintstone. Well, at least I have that over here. Now, it is good that I use recipes from the starting areas. Gives you a reason to continue to collect them. Uh, flintstone, just a few. Okay, that was a dead goat. Not my fault. He just jumped right in front of me. Okay. Sometimes dead is better. Sometimes dead is better. <laughs> oh, I do wonder. Is that a South Park reference? Okay, my comfort didn't increase. So 73 might be the max. Who knows? Ah, uh, I mean, I got a little bit of room. Not enough room for three of the bastards. At least I think so. Hang on, the eye is still looking. And it's looking at me. <laughs> That's fancy. Okay, so the trophy room is a little bit too small. I wonder if I could fill this out with water. But okay, yeah, this... Oh, that was fun. That was challenging and fun. Still, I'm the max level with max level armor. So, yeah, this is gonna be challenging for people who are not uh, at a higher level. When are you supposed to go in here at level 10? That would be insanely hard. Oh god, and level 15, I mean, I'm struggling now. And this level 20, I mean, once I got better armor, it was good enough. But yeah, the next quest is gonna be for the Kindle Waste Hollow Halts. And I do believe that's the last one. Oh, that's fancy. That's real fancy. Real fancy schmancy. All right, yeah, well, uh, the quest is still on for, uh, well, to find Excalibur. But right now, I kind of want to just uh, finish this. Uh, ah, well, this is fun. This is extremely fun. Still, I'm gonna bitch and cry about the flying. But I guess it's fine. Fine, just fine. Yeah, the devs apparently didn't want us to fly like seagulls, but I do want to be a bird. Yeah, because then I could just start off from here and fly over there. But yeah, I think that I am going to place a few flame altars at select locations. Just build as high as I can, and there we go. There you have it. Yeah, we will see, we will see. But anyhow, I think that now it is time for me to say, until next time.